Okay, welcome to part two of this web design tutorial. Uh, we're going to be building this Photoshop PSD that I actually downloaded from a very good site. If you browse over to hv-designs.co.uk and go down to page two, you'll be able to find the, the Photoshop PSD that you can download for free. Just click on download PSD file there. And then once you've got that, if you open it up in Photoshop, and this is what you'll see. So we're going to start off building this. So what you need to do, if we open up Visual Web Developer. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to open up Visual Web Developer, click on New Website. And we want to create a ASP.NET empty website. And then we want to save it into a folder. So I'm just going to call this Part 2. And click OK. Okay, so now that's open, what we need to do is we need to create some folders for the site structure. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on there and click new folder. I'm going to call this images. And then inside the images folder I'm going to create another folder and call it structure. Create another folder and call this style. And that's about it for now. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create a master page that's going to hold all of the the, the elements for every page. So we right click on there, click on add a new item, select master page. Here's the name for it, master page .master, and click add. Okay, now that opens up. As you can see, this is the file we've added into our Solution Explorer and it's opened up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this bit of code and we're going to start to design it. So what we need to do is we'll create a style sheet. So if we right click on the style folder, click add new item, browse down to style sheet, leave it as the default name, and click add. And we've now created a style sheet. So we need to add the style sheet to the page. So if we create a space there for it, click and drag. We've now added the style sheet to the master page. And if we say to save the page, we should scroll down Control and S, and that saves the page. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is actually start to create some divs. Now, a div is like a container that holds information. So we'll create our first div. So div ID equals header wrapper, and then we close out the div and this is the closing tag for the div and what I like to do is create comments for the end of each div so I know which one's which so the comment would look like this so now I know that's the closing div when I put code inside okay so so the header wrapper will actually be this light colour at the top, this box that stretches along the whole of the page. So to get that to work, we've created our ID which is header wrapper. So if I copy that, come over to our style sheet and create an ID of header wrapper. So what do we for this we want to give it a width of 100% so it stretches across the whole length of the page then we want to give it a height of 90 pixels and then we want to give it a background colour and the colour for this I have over here is that and then what we also want to do is give it a one pixel bottom border and I'll show you why like that and if we save the style sheet save the master page click on design and there you go we've got our first header okay first we need to create a 
need to create a default page like the index page so add a new item web form default ASPX and you need to click on the select master page and then you select the page we created to start with and then if we preview in a browser you can see there's that's the, the header but obviously in the PSD there isn't any white space around the top but on ours we do but to fix that that's an easy easy thing to do so if we close that and stop debugging go back to our style sheet and what we need to do we need to reset all of the margins and paddings on the page so if we do margin if I could spell margin zero and padding zero save the style sheet and as you can see now the white space has disappeared but we'll just preview that in a browser and there you go, it's now gone to so reset all the margins and paddings on the page. Okay, so that's the first bit done. So if we go back to our design, okay, so what we need to do now, we need to create the, the logo side and the menu side. But we also need to make this sure that the site is centered in the middle of the page. So the best thing to do here is if we create a header div that we center then create two divs inside, a logo div and a menu div. So I'll show you how that works. So back to the source for the master page. So inside our header wrapper we need to create a div with an ID that equals header okay bring that down and then we need to I just want to create a comment so I know which div that belongs to okay so we need to create the style now for this header so if we come back to the style and we create a header style so for this, like I said, we want to create, have the header centered at the middle of the page. So we do margin, and we do zero for the top, so no margin on the top, auto for the right, zero for the bottom, and auto for the left. And then we also need to give the, the header a width. So we'll give that a thousand pixels. Then we also want to give it a height. And that height will be 90 pixels. Okay, so if we go back to our master page, click on design view. As you can see now, this is our header wrapper div. As you can see, it says here, header wrapper. Then inside of the header wrapper, we click on that that's our header that's our, our div header okay so now we need to create two divs inside of the header for the logo and for the menu so to do that we come inside of the header and we're going to create another div with an ID that equals logo close out that and then we should add a comment call that logo and then we also need another div inside of that for our menu so to save time I'll copy and paste but we'll call this div menu and we'll change that to menu save the page Okay, so now we've created the, the logo div and the menu div, we need to style those two divs. So if we go back to our style sheet, 
and then if we create a logo so for this logo div we're going to give it a width of 370 pixels give it a height of 90 and as if we just go back to our design so this is the div we're actually creating now but if I show you these two lines here okay so that's close up so this is the logo div we're creating you can see there's a one pixel line there and another one pixel line there of different colors and it just helps it to lift it off the page make it look more professional and the, the design is in the same thing here another one pixel line and another one pixel line so we also need to create these incorporate these into our divs which is quite easy to do so if we go back to visual web developer so we need to create that one pixel border on the div so to do that we do border right so the properties we're going to give it we're going to give it a color of d e e 0 e 8 it's going to be a solid color and it's going to be one pixel okay And then we're also going to give it some padding of left of 30 pixels. And if we go back to our design, now you can see this is our logo div. So now we've got space here for our menu div. So what we need to do, we need to create that div now. So we do menu. So the menu, the width is going to be 598 pixels. Uh, the height is going to be 90 pixels. And on this div, we need to give the border left uh, a color to match up with the border right of the logo. So for this one, it's going to be border left and the color property is going to be white it's going to be a solid color and it's going to be one pixel okay so now that's done if we go back to our master page you can now see that our menu div has dropped down here now what we need to do is we need to tell this div to float to the left which will mean this div will slide straight up into position so to do that we go back to our style sheet and on the logo div we add another property we say float left and if we go back to our master page you can now see that div has disappeared and it's jumped up into the correct place div of menu so with just a couple of divs and a bit of CSS we've managed we're starting to get there now Okay, so time's running out now, so I'm going to stop this video uh, and then I'll create part three and I'll up upload that soon.